Ava, is this all? And this is Ava. And we've done a few acid and base experiments. If you want to view those videos, uh, you can take the link in the description below. When you get a solution, how do you identify if it's acid, base, or neutral? Well, most of the time, solutions are colorless. In this experiment, we'll see how we can identify acid, base, or neutral easily. In the first test tube, I already added vinegar. And in the rest of the test tubes, I'm going to add water. Ava, can you, can you pour the water in there? How much? Uh, like probably over here. And over here in this one. And over here in this one too. But I'll do it here. Okay. A little more, a little more. And stop. Yeah. Now in the next one. A little more. More, 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 more. A little more still. And stop. Now in the next one. So now it's all done. In one test tube, we're going to add citric acid, and in the other one, baking soda. Search the spoon, Ava. Okay, so then, so then now we have to mix, and then there's probably going to be some magic. Who knows? I'm adding, I'm adding baking soda. I'm going to mix. The four different test tubes with four different solutions. So then, will you be able to tell me which one is a acid, which one is a base, and which one is a neutral? Because they all look similar, similar, and they all are colorless. This has vinegar. This is an acid solution. This has citric acid. This is an acid solution. This has water. Water. This is a neutral solution. And this has baking soda. So this is a base solution. We're going to use a uh, acid base indicator to tell us which is the acid, which is the base, and which is the neutral. My sister Emma is going to take one scoop of red cabbage juice powder and and pour it into the test tubes. So you can do it, Ava. And which one? Uh, any any one you want. Okay, that sounds uh, good. So let's change it. Now, now, now she's kind of a bluish color. I'm just going to add one more scoop. I won't add it in this one. No, you have to add it in another one. Now that's turning, yeah, that's turning purple. That's yeah, see the colors changing into purple. And now I'm going to add two scoops. So then, yeah, let's take up a scoop. See now this is kind of turning into a and now this is turning into a, a these are both acids and they're different kinds of acids. This is vinegar and vinegar is acid. This is citric acid and and it's an acid too. That's why they call it citric acid. That's why they got red when when we added the red cabbage juice powder. This is water. So when you put so when you put red cabbage juice powder in water, since water is a neutral, no reaction happens, and the red cabbage juice powder just stays the same color. And when you put red cabbage juice powder in baking soda, baking soda is a base, so the, so it turns blue. So when you to one side, do it. So now we'll put a. Baking soda into citric acid. See what happens. More, 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 more. Wow, it's bubbling. It's foaming. Do you see that? It's pink. Well, it's baking soda and citric acid makes carbon dioxide. Yeah. Now let's pour 
put big sword into the bleed but right see what happens. Well, the Finnegar's bubbling! And he's exploding! Yeah, because when you mix Baking Sword and Vinegar, carbon dioxide forms too, and carbon dioxide makes the bubbles. So you can try this experiment at your home. It's a very fun experiment. And please subscribe to my channel. And bye, friends!